Dolphins thirsty, they never show no mercy. On the field or in the game, Miami knows how to play. Dolphins thirsty, we all get down and dirty. Tell you what you want to know, it's the Dolphins show. Quench your thirst for all things Miami Dolphins. They are the football kings, cause they play to win. Come on in and have some fun, whether we have lost or we have won. For all things Miami, it's Dolphins Thursday. Good morning, everyone. Welcome on this fantastic Friday, or like we in Dolphin Land like to say, fantastic Friday. Welcome. You guys are watching Dolphins Chatter, where we talk about everything to the Dolphins because to us, the Dolphins always matter even in the off season. So, with no further ado, I'm Rob Mosley. I'm about to bring in my co host here, Justin. There he is. Good morning, Justin. How are you? Good, man. Good. Hanging in there, you know. How's everything, how's everything out there in Colorado? It's good, man. Uh, nice, good weather. It's kind of hitting that part of the season where we get a lot of rain, though, in the afternoon. So No, well, <laughs> that's like South Florida for sure. We've been getting yeah. rain every day. Thunderstorms and rain almost every day is like yep. in the summertime of South Florida. It's a almost sounds like Colorado. <laughs> yeah, so, hey, that's good. Yeah, because some areas don't get rain, and they complain about not getting rain. So I guess I'd rather get the rain than not get the rain, you know, because we don't have droughts at least. So I guess, you know, sometimes you complain, oh, it's raining, but it's better than the alternative, no droughts, and have all that dry land all the time. Oh, so. I know, right? Yeah, you, that's exactly what happens here in Colorado, too, and then you get wildfires and things like that. So yeah, so I'm kind of blessed that it's raining a little bit, but I don't think everybody else is. So <laughs> That's Tank. That's Fish Tank Tank. <laughs> So I, I'm going to drop a link if you guys want to join. Hank. What up? My and, and of course, G man, he goes, let's hear it, Justin. Mile <laughs> high basketball. Yeah. Hey. hey, bro, I'll be honest with you, dude. You know, I, I told you before the show started that what was going to happen. I told you what was going to happen in the hockey series. Panthers came back, got one of those games. They're going to probably get the next one. And I told you the Nuggets was going to do that. But what I didn't know was going to happen <clears throat> is that my wonderful cast of a basketball team there was going to set NBA history. Joe Kick is the first player ever with a 30, 20, and 10 game in a finals. And they're the first pair ever to have two players triple-double on their team. Okay? I, I tried to warn you guys about this. And I, this team is legit. They got superstars, Max, um, did you guys see that shot by Jamal Murray, man? The kiss off the top of the glass. Oh, my God. That was one sweet shot right there, buddy. <laughs> All right. You got your rubbing it in for the day. So, <laughs> no, Like my wife said, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Before the game, before we played the game three, she said, Nuggets, take game three and four, come back home, show the heat the door. Yeah. Hey, we we see, man. We see. It's been, like you say, it's fun, though. And at least, like you said, the Panthers got back in the W column. They won yep. their first ever Stanley Cup final game. So they're finally off the – Off the you know, Right, they're off the snide. They got their first ever. So now and hopefully moving forward they can get another one. Then the series is all tied and anything's on the table. Speaking of Finn's table talk there, anything's on the table, you know, <laughs> if, if they can get that next one. But with the Dolphins, they just wrapped up mini camp. Calvin Cook's going to become now a free agent, whatever. It's going to be depending on what people want. From what I hear, the Dolphins are interested, but they're not going to do the blank check like they have in the past. So if some team outbids them, they'll probably go to that. But if he's willing to come to Miami, Miami would be accepting, but not on a huge like Ross saying, hey, yeah, whatever, here's a blank check, go get them. That's what the latest reports are. So You know, it's crazy, but the Dolphins talking heads in this Dolphins community we have here, yeah. I don't care if it's TD or whoever you go watch, Barry Cunningham. Like, I watched one of his videos yesterday. I got all mad because he's like, cook to Miami. It's a done deal. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. Don't even drop a video saying that because this makes you look like a fool. Like if it doesn't come to be, I know. Happen. So. Like you're all you're doing is you're making yourself look desperate for clicks. And I'll be yeah. honest with you, I hate that. Like, oh no, that's why we, we're not saying here. 
You know, like we're not on this show saying, "Yeah, Dalvin Cook's a dolphin today." Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> No, yeah, man, I don't. I don't buy into any of that until it happens. Like, no, no, I'm with you 100. percent You can't keep getting me on it though. I'm like, no, he's no, no, click it, and it's some janky video about how he and could be a dolphin. We're, we're gonna see. I mean, it's gonna really depend if he wants, because he's gonna get more money from other teams. It just depends how much where he wants to go. If he wants to come to Florida and it's close with the taxes, and he says it's close, plus I get to go home, then maybe he would choose the dolphin. But if some team's willing to give him. Three or four million more than the Dolphins. There's no home team discount. I mean, these young men only play so long. You need to take the money when you can get it. And you know, if, you if know, he's willing, he to does take fans it. love to say, "Oh, home team discount," because they love it. When you're in the business, you got to take the money. You got to take the money because yeah, if, if he's it's willing not to take some tomorrow. sort of a discount to come play home, or play come home to play for the Miami Dolphins, I'm all for it. <clears throat> I'm all for it. Oh yeah, me too. <clears throat> yeah, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not doing like like love you, Hank, but I'm not doing that. I'm not being like, yeah, he's coming to done. It's but not if he done. is coming, are you like, excited? If he like yeah, by the oh, end of the b- business yeah. today, it's <clears throat> Cook signs end. a two year contract with the Dolphins. You know, because I think it's going to be something in that neighborhood. I don't think we're rolling <laughs> by out the end big... of the business day. If we have Cook on the team, I'm a happy guy. But okay. I'll tell you, but I'll tell you, like three or four guys who aren't very happy about it, and that would be Selvan uh, Ahmed. Miles Gaskin and uh, <clears throat> newly acquired running back from Texas A&M, Devon Alchain. Yeah, you'll have three guys battling literally for one spot, and that one spot might not even see the time that you thought he was going to see originally because now you have Cook. Because oh, I agree Cook, with you. I agree with Cook. You. Like I say, this is like we already got the chocolate cake. This is just like some icing on top of the chocolate cake. If you get the running back, to me where we don't have the chocolate cake is through the offensive line and maybe some spots along the <laughs> defensive line that would make more sense to go get those, fill those because this is really icing on the cake as far as a running back room to me, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not sitting there on cooks level, but we've got quality running backs and a chain. We don't know what we have in him, but I know my buddy Justin was off the charts for him. I like to say off yeah. the chain for a chain. He had him rated very high. Why not give the young man a chance? Because that's what we always do in dolphin land. We get these guys, and everybody's like, oh, he's he's progressing, he's progressed. Then we don't even see them for a whole rookie year. We need to get them. We uh oh, we got another point of view coming in here. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I hit the I hit it wrong. Hey Hank. Hank. Hey guys. What's up, dude? Hey, so, I, you know, I've been watching you guys and, and listening to the uh whole Dalvin Cook thing, man. I love it. I love it when uh you jump on people, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is that a yeah. Waddle no. shirt you're wearing? Is that a Waddle or a Tannehill shirt? That's a Waddle. That's a that's a Waddle all day. I was where do you say, get man, that? Like, where do you get that nice looking shirt, man? That looks cool. You know, I I get it where I get them all. I think uh, either Fanatics. Uh, it looks oh, like okay. a Fanatics jersey to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know Justin, you're in the business, so some people get them from you. <laughs> yeah, all the time. All, all the time, bro. Like it just depends on what time of the year it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What's so right now, now I got to run right out and get my Dalvin Cook jersey, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. I hear you, bro. And hey, um, you got to find out what number he's going to be first. I think he's probably go back to 33 if he comes to the Dolphins or something. Oh, look, I don't G-Man. know. G-Man. G-Man's hung over. Yep, man, you hung over off that heat game, bro. He's probably been drinking too heavily during the game. Well, maybe he was watching the Panthers. Maybe he was watching the Panthers last night. Yeah, probably. Uh, That was a great game. I watched it. It was good. The Panthers are good in overtime, that's for sure. They have like a knack of winning overtime games. I don't know. It's all good. So, Hank, you're all for doing the move to get Cook. Oh, uh, that and then some. I'm all about it. Look. I think that Miami should be able to get him right around eight million. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, that's high, but yeah, but I mean, that's about the price it's gonna probably take to get him. I know. I'm gonna be honest with you right now, straight up. I would rather spend like four, not maybe not even four million, and just go sign Akeem Hicks or Limville Joseph. Like we're gonna spend all. No, Reisner, man, you didn't say (laughs) Reisner. Did he sign somewhere and I missed it? No, he hasn't signed. I don't think anywhere yet. But I would rather stack that D line up because, I mean, who's playing behind Wilkins? Who's playing behind Raekwon? Yeah, no stack. We we need a we need a one tech and we need a three tech. We need two more defensive linemen, bro. No matter. I agree with you because the the running back, like I said, that's just kind of like a bonus because I already like the running back rooms. 
it's kind of, I like a run other than Moser getting hurt sometimes and Wilson. I can see why, but you know what? Maybe they want an extra body back there, but I, I don't know. I like a running back room, and I have big expectations for a chain. So you know, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm 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 all about adding Cook to the running back room. That's not the problem. Like I'm I'm for it. I know it's all about Go the price. Cook because then you could line up Mostert, Cook, Wilson, and a chain Gaskin, and Ahmed can battle out for that fourth running back spot. That's fine. Mm. Yeah. But <clears throat> don't don't get it twisted, bro. If we don't have that line of scrimmage set up to par meaning you added we need another body back there bro besides Jalen Twyman besides Montalvo besides Peely besides Jared Bronson because those are the names that are going to start down there if we don't add a guy we need yeah. someone else with some uh, some experience you need a veteran down there Akeem yeah. Hicks or Linville Joseph dude we gotta add yeah. one of the two and Vic Fangio may agree with you I don't know if you saw the little interview with Vic Fangio First, he asked, oh, would, were you close to being with the Eagles? He, he was honest. But I said, oh, I'm not going to deny and whatever. I'm not yeah. going to either – I'm not either going to say yes or deny. But then they asked him, oh, how do you like all the talent here on defense? And he kind of threw a bomb out there saying, well, I'm happy in some areas and not in other areas. He didn't name what areas he's not and what areas he is. But everyone assumed it's probably linebackers or D-line. That I was going to say the, <clears throat> the areas he's happy with is his defensive backs and his defensive line. The yeah, areas. he's like I don't. I think it's piss poor is going to be his linebackers. Right. I think yeah. the linebackers are good at all, bro. And I'll be honest with you, that's why they're trying to add linebackers and figure out an off-ball linebacker. Uh, I think we're going to add a linebacker before it's said and done. Yeah. So what do you think? Hey, what you did you see Fangio say that that he was like he kind of threw that little bomb out there? Yeah, he's kind of sitting there saying that you know he's worried about some depth here and there is what yeah. it's like and yeah you know we have i was talking with uh well i tweeted back and forth with omar and omar said basically it looks like you know, what's up buddy good morning the inside linebacker uh Enders. he also said safety and nose tackle he said those three right <clears throat> now are the ones that are light in camp right that he definitely thinks that they might want to add somebody before. He's the right. Game. Omar oh. Kelly's totally right about what he yeah. said right there. Like, they're light in the pants at nose tackle. They don't have a true thumper. They're all small in the in the linebacker room. We don't have nobody who's like 240, 250. They're all smaller linebackers. So you don't yeah. have a true thumper. And then we're hurt at safety because Brandon Jones is trying to come back from his, in, uh, right. his injury from last year. So now we're 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 thin. We're thin. Well, hopefully, as Elliot. We hopefully, El Elliot's a good addition to the room at safety. No, he'll be a great addition, but they need someone else. Like we got to get Brandon. Oh, Jones. of course, you mean of course. And Fins another up, concern. Ender. Yeah, there I got. I kept that up there because he threw all of us in there. So thank you, Ender. Fins up to you. And then um, David Long. Was the concerned, you know, when we signed him that he had an injury history. Now he's already battling an injury through. I know it's just it's just a mini camp, long ways until the you know the soft tissue yeah. can heal up by then. But it's just a sad sign that one of our big additions that we're all hopeful for is already battling a little soft tissue because they were saying it was like his hamstring issue again. See that well, that that was the same as when we had Armstead, fellas. Yep. You know, Same. he got him in, he, and you know he started playing great, but then he got hurt. Yep. It's, you know, it, it's the Dolphins that big thing right now, man. It's, they like to sign all these players with injury history and take risks on them. When, I know. Hoping like, that they become here and miraculously not be hurt. I, I know. But they got – you're getting <laughs> – you know what? When you're getting something like that, you just got to know it's a scratch and dent sale. And, like, yeah. you know, what you get is what you get. Like, it's damaged goods. So well, I wanted to drop in on you guys about the whole cook thing. So that's oh, yeah. why I'm dropping in, all right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Fancio doesn't really have a true thumper LB in his system. Yeah, that's what I just said. We don't have a true thumper, no one with no, yeah. like, you know, you got to have some junk in the trunk and be able yeah. to run downhill and go hit some. I said, I said 8 million. You guys think that's high? The I think it, because right now he was set to make twelve. Right, he was going to make ten million. I think right from the Vikings. Ten and twelve. Yeah, that's why I yes. figured eight might. So yeah, and then but the Vikings said no to that price. Even though as good as he was for them last yeah. year, they should have said no to that price. So I think it would come somewhere, but it's going to be under ten. But yeah, it's probably going to be. I'll give you five. Five. Oh. Yep. I don't know if he'll sign for five. I hope he does. 
Yeah. Because I'll be honest with you, we can't do we have we have to we need other stuff. We can't just luxury jump all that money into one thing. That's why when you said eight, I was like, oh, damn, that's all the money's yeah, gone. Know. You know, like, oh yeah, you know, no, Dalvin Cook is going to be a great addition if he's added to whatever team, whatever team he goes to. He's a great addition. Some team I think will be maybe Hank, like you're right, may be willing to go to the eight million. And I, at that point, I don't think the Dolphins would match it. I, I don't so. know. I think I don't know either. But if you were reading this, I've read the Sun Sentinel today, or you know, no, it's actually Barry Jackson on the Miami Herald, and he was saying that there's strong rumors around the team that they want him, but not at a blank check price like they've done no. with other people. In yeah, the I, I totally understand that. Yeah. I'm just thinking that if he wants 10, he at least wants eight is what I was thinking. And if he at yeah. least wants eight, what's he willing to go down to for the Dolphins? Yeah. And and Jay hit on it with, you know, five million, but it could also be six million. And they split the difference. See, that's what his agent's for. Yeah, well, that's just so it. Though. Either, either way, you know, <clears throat> I really hope he's going to be on the team because it makes us beyond dynamic. Yeah. Yes, we have Mozart. Yes, we have Wilson. Yes, we have these uh, A chain. Yes, we have all these folks. I, I totally Cook. understand it. But imagine Dalvin Cook, a 1,300 yard rusher in our backfield. And maybe even make McDaniel run the ball more too. They would say, okay, I have to run the ball. I went and got this guy. Yeah. And, you know, maybe I put a little more emphasis on going out there and running. Justin, you're a tough negotiator, low balling people. <laughs> you better believe it. <clears throat> you better yeah. believe it, man. Like, I don't know why anybody would think eight million is a good offer for a running back with miles on him. I know what he's done in the league. I get all of that, but this is my, this is where I'm coming from with it. I don't, I don't care whether we do or whether we don't. And the reason why is because I don't think it's going to make us any worse or any better if you do. Sure, if you add Cook, it's going to make you a better team. Yes. But is it really? Is it really, though? Because, I mean, think he hangs it. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, Hank. I don't know. I'm well, yet, well, well I'll see. tell you why I think so then, J-Dog. Maybe you'll, come, maybe you'll see my side or see a glimpse of what I'm seeing. You know, you add, you have already two wide receivers that are dynamic. You have a quarterback that's very accurate. You have speed with A-Chain and Mosert. You also have poundability with Cook. He, he can pound the rock, too. He, he can make it happen. He's more of a not, speed back. He's, He's not Jeff huge. Wilson to be more of the pounder, I think. Yeah, right. he's he's not huge, but he he could take a little more than a scrawny back can. Like, you know, I don't know how great <laughs> AK is going to do. He's all speed. He's all speed. You know, so, well, but Justin actually in his sense, he's surprisingly more powerful than you would think for his size. I don't know if that's like a disclaimer Justin threw out there, but he is. No, saying, I'll be honest with you. I think he's. This is why I'm like fighting back on it because you already have a Dalvin Cook on the roster. You just drafted him out of Texas A&M. All you know, right. You don't need Dalvin Cook, bro. Dalvin Cook's just a luxury. He's a bonus but because it's like he's a bonus you would like to have, but he's a bonus is what you're telling at us. Thirteen hundred right yards for the past four seasons. Oh, right I can't price. just pass on that. I would so take the right RL price. agrees with you, Hank. He says on a three year deal, three year deal at eight million per year, ten signing bonus, and an out before year three. Yep. I don't mind. Just it. sorry. <laughs> That's yeah. disgusting, dude. That's just disgusting. <laughs> well, it's disgusting because you just think it's a bonus position. It's not like if we it's needed a, a running back, pick. like we were dire to get a running back, you'd be okay with it. If you were like, oh, my God, we just, once well, again, you reason... bypass running back, then you'll be okay. But since you think our running back room's good, then that's why you're saying no yeah. on the eight million per Absolutely. year. Absolutely. I think, I think we're just – we're doing what Dolphins fans normally do, we're like – a player gets released that's been a Pro Bowl and proven in this league, and we're like, oh, the Dolphins got to get him. And I think the only reason why it's all coming down to this Dalvin Cook thing, if, if he wasn't from Florida and a Florida hometown kid, this would already be a done, over-with issue, <clears throat> and we wouldn't even be having this conversation. And it's only because he's from Florida. And so, hello, Hammer Time. Welcome to the room. Welcome to the room. Hello, no, I agree. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I, I don't think know that about that. 
Jay, hammer time. I used to think hammer time was you, says. Hank. I always thought hammer time was you, Hank, in secret. Because, you know, like <laughs> hammering Hank, uh, old, you know, hammering Hank Aaron. You know, I just said, well, oh, that's his secret. Hammer time. Oh. Say something out there. I'm showing them my <laughs> hand. No, I know. I know, <laughs> man. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Here's my hands. They're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be stretching it a little bit, bro, but I'll be quite honest with you. You guys can all want to add all these luxury picks and do all this fancy stuff and all this speed. Or you That's can not pump, luxury. Hold on, man. No, that is luxury. It's a running back. <laughs> or you can go out there and get serious and buckle down and fix your line of scrimmage and win a Super Bowl. The choice is up to you. Who so you, you guys, guys can keep me – no, wait a minute. No, you guys can keep messing around with this stuff and be like, yeah, let's add this Ted Ginn Jr. or this speed over here or this speed over here. That's fine and dandy, bro. Where's the real problem at in the Dolphins right now? The line of scrimmage, the offensive line, and you're weak at the defensive line. But, yeah, we want to talk about all these luxury picks. Bro, if you really want to fix the problem, you get in there, you roll up your sleeves, and you go fix the problem. You don't just try to put Band-Aids over the problem every year, year after year, and think this is going to fix it. Well, they it. feel they like they have it fixed. I know. They, they, they feel like that's they have thing. it fixed, according on, to them. Fixed. Yeah, they feel they like it is. Nah, I don't know, man. We'll see when it starts to play, but you still have holes on the defensive line that's not fixed, and we're talking about adding a, what is he, 27, 28, almost a 30-year-old running back, you know, getting excited. Uh, he's, yeah, he's 27. He would be 28. In his... I'll be honest with you, dude. I'm not he's even, in his prime. I'm not even interested no more. I'm just – I'm not. And the reason why is because you already got the guy on the roster. You, this, is, this is a move. You point. don't have to like the, the – you don't have to want the player, but for me – I it's say, not I the say, same old Greer pick. It's not the same old Greer Lyles, pickup. I say that it's a problem. <laughs> right. I'm just saying it's not the same old pickup. You have somebody that's been consistently getting 1,300 yards past four seasons. And that was on the offensive line that was just, just as horrible as Miami. And, and if you don't think that the changes, the way the linebackers are going to move up and the way they're going to shift – Depending on whether Dalvin Cook's in there or not, I say it's going to make a huge difference. That's just all I believe, you know. And you'll get that same thing with the rookie you have in there. You just got to get him the snaps and get him acclimated to the system. I don't I think mean, not. Not like the Dalvin saying. Cook. I hear what you're saying, bro, and I understand Dalvin Cook. All of a sudden, is Barry Sanders. I get it, but at the same point in time, like. I don't know, man. Like you're saying all these things, there's a risk factor involved with that as well. Dalvin Cook could sign this big deal, like you said, for two, three years for how many ever odd amount of money come in, and next thing you know, he's hurt. And now we're dealing with another hurt running back when we didn't need to when we didn't need to add him and we just wasted our money. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's another thing that happened. You know, you get your running backs hurt, then Dalvin Cook's another option. Yeah. See? Well, well, Dalvin, Andrew, Dalvin, thank you, 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 Dalvin, thank you for the Dalvin. comment, Andrew. Here's a first time commenter. It comes down to the roster management thing for me, honestly. It really is. It's the way the roster's built, it's the way you manage the roster. And the reason why the Dolphins front office and the Miami Dolphins are even considering this move is because he's a from Florida. He's a native guy. They're gonna they're gonna always look out for their guys first. Or this conversation. I hope that's not that's not how you build a football team. They better look at him wow. because he's the best football player. Well, they better not you know, no. all the experts out there would disagree with you. That's fine. That's why they're experts and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a luxury pick, bro. And I honestly, be honest, somebody who's I don't. really I smart don't would be I, like, hey, let's you, back you off. You have nobody to pick up. You have nobody to pick up. Bro, I don't defense care about right now. Never you have nobody to pick up for your offensive line. Hey, hold on, let Hank. Let Hank. Hold on, let me finish. Let, let Hank finish. <laughs> you have nobody to pick up for your offensive line. You have nobody to pick up for defense right well, now. We we picked we picked the 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 cherries clean already. Everybody, every team's picked them. We're, we're still waiting for the other apples to fall after, after. Uh, mini camps and all that and before season starts preseason we'll get more people that'll drop that they might be able to pick yeah, up. i agree with that but justin happened he's shaking his head because he loves dalton reisner who's out on the market right nah, now he just said some stuff i definitely don't agree with he says yeah. there's nothing that we can add i'm just defense, telling you we can add on the line I that's where up. they're at i i i know you always have a player players you like but i'm just saying 
There's there's nobody that they're picking up right now. There's nobody that they want or they would have them on the team. That's all I'm saying. And going off of that, just going by what they're currently doing, I have to sit there and say, well, the best person that's available out there right now is Dalvin Cook. Is, is Dalvin <laughs> Cook at 1,300 <laughs> yards. 1,300 yards. Guys, I just dropped the link again for you if you want to join. But um, I agree. I kind of d- agree with you, Hank, that he would be a great addition to the team. And it's just I, I, I agree to with Justin to agree to you too, because I think it comes a money issue. And I don't know what I'm I don't know their financial books. Yeah. I'm not one of those guys <laughs> that look at either. over the cap dot com or spoke track every day like some of the fans do. Yeah, I but don't do that. Like, I know. So I would just I just know if they can like. It, it's not really a money issue for me. It's like, I know I said that I'm worried about, it. I got a price point. Of course, everybody does. Like, it's not about that. Like, do you really think in your heart of hearts right now to be straight up, you think Dalvin cook is the cherry to put you over the top to get us to the promised land? I I think that is not uh, what you think. Maybe not over the top, well, but he's I'm a him. step close. He might I, be a I, step I closer. That, I truly think that with him and a chain or him and most sorry I don't <laughs> well well in the backfield along with the those two back. wide receivers along with those two wide receivers yeah I think it's big time troubles for any team to try well, to I'd cover rather that. add an offensive lineman or a, a, a defensive lineman they don't want to yet though they don't want then they don't want to win <laughs> they hey, don't want Hank, to. another Hank thank you Hank for your chat, for your matches. Thank you for joining us. And before I forget, Pick Justin, up, I'm going to fire you. You're supposed to remind me, Justin. Please like, subscribe, oh. <laughs> and give me that. I've been bad this morning. Give me that like and subscribe. You guys are the best. Justin's normally my best promoter on here and always remind me. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting caught up in the conversation right now. I know, but getting oh. caught up on the Dalvin right, Cook. Man. All right, man. pressurized. <laughs> yeah. It's all good, man. Hey, but that's what I say. We, I don't no, I don't disagree with you guys that adding him would make the offense the running back room better by far. Yes. You're adding somebody who's experienced, somebody who has done it before. He's lethal. He's a great running back in this league. Nothing but respect for Dalvin Cook, honestly. What old lineman would you add? Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of them out there. Um, you've heard me talk about Dalton Reiser numerous times. I was going to say Dalton Reiser. I can't believe you said you don't know. You talk about Dalton <laughs> Reiser have. almost every day. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of other linemen out there, too, that aren't bad. I'm not really concerned as much about the offensive line, which I still need to see it in action with the new pieces we have. But I'm Hank. I'm answering Hank Cappin right here, his question. But I'm more concerned about the defensive line. If you guys think we're winning the Super Bowl with Jalen Twyman and Jared Bronson and – these guys as your backup defensive tackles and hell we must might have got lucky but i i just don't see it i would rather add the depth pieces behind there then you can start adding all these luxury picks like barry sanders and dalvin cook and stuff like that oh see you're getting all in your bam look at that look don't get all in right your there. feelings on read a, read a man, <laughs> read a man who's other than basketball other than basketball, basketball justin Dan. and g-man agree on most of all the dolphin takes but when they yep. talked about basketball they fight <laughs> but line honest, dictates that's everything that's yep. true that's how i but feel there's about nobody it. the dolphins want yet we got to wait that's what, fall from the apples, fall from the trees, folks. I well, tend to agree with you there, that. Hank, the Dolph- because the, the Dolphins, Dolphins have repeatedly want. said that they're happy with their offensive line. And it's like, what about their defensive line? Yeah, that, you know, yeah, you haven't heard they him say depth. that as much. We, we all know they need depth. We all agreed on that. They need yeah. depth. Well, you're, you're going to sacrifice your depth for Dalvin Cook. No, you won't. Yeah, you will. You're only spending half the money you have. That's so not you're going to get the rest of those guys with four million dollars. Four million? You said we wound up getting down to six, didn't we? You said eight. <laughs> I said I said maybe eight. I don't okay. know what. Oh uh, yeah, we don't know what yeah. the money. But I'm not a GM. I don't. Yeah, know I know. What neither, don't worry, him neither. If you give them eight, that means we only got five left. I'm well, a great opposite line. How much you got left? And make Seven. It a so you have See, seven million left. What he said right there is what I'm trying. What I've been wanting to do here for the last five years. I've been banging the table since I've been in this Dolphins community for a, a great offensive line. Yeah. It's just not going to happen. Hope the pieces we have right now are what we got. Just yeah. like Hank just said, they don't want to add anybody else to the O line, and I agree with him. I don't think they're going to add to the O line. But like the Hank Caspin just said, and everyone, well, who would you? That's add to a the problem. O-line? 
I want to add to the defensive line. I'll say one more time. I want the, the Linville Joseph or Akeem Hicks, somebody to add behind the defensive line. The offensive line, as far as I'm concerned right now, it's built. Is it fixed? No, not yet. To me, the defensive line, like I just told you, bro, Linville Joseph or Akeem Hicks. That's why. Yeah, he, he said he asked that before you were talking. I just no, got nose it up tackle. There. Definitely, we need a nose tackle on that line. There's no doubt as far as depth goes, but as far as our top players, we got top players on on the line too, and I think they can do a lot of damage. It's just a matter of, like you said. We just have to have depth. You can't go into a game and say nobody's going to get hurt. You know. Oh, of course. No, I know. You know. We we so, be stacked in the running back without room depth. With we're doomed. Without depth. See, like RL Isles just said right there. You don't need a great line. We need a cohesive line. Yeah, but do we have a cohesive line when you keep mixing and matching the pieces? You want them to stay together and have a continuity together. Know each other. Know where they're going to be. Know what's going to happen know when they're going to pass a guy off to him that the other guy is going to pick him up. Um, and that comes from experience. It comes from playing next to a guy for years and being like, I know his tendencies. I know what he's going to do right here. And when you're adding a win and you're adding a Cedric Ogbogani and these guys that come in to try to take these spots, it's going to be a little bit of a change for them and a right. change for the guy who's playing next to them. So this takes time. Like, I'm, I'm all about the offensive line in the trenches, digging in the trenches. That's, that's my thing. I want good line play. And that's on both sides of the football. That's not just offense. But offense is major for us right now because we have that the quarterback that we want to protect, that we want to keep up. Top right to my man Kevin right there. <laughs> um, we want to keep this guy healthy. Um, the way to do it is to get these guys in there, go through these reps, high repetition, and see where they're going to fit in. Um, I know a lot of people weren't fans of the Legene Perrier being the offensive line assistant coach, but I've heard him talk and he knows his stuff when he's talking about, Hey, I want to get him in the practice field and go through high repetition reps. And when he says that, it means he wants to go rep, 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 take as many as you can so he can break down their game and see where the mistakes are happening. That's the only way you're going to get the kinks out of it. Let's see. This is, let's see. We'll not know that. And basically we got a couple comments here. We'll not know that until, they can stay, stay healthy. healthy. Yep. Bingo. You won't know what you got until they can stay healthy. And see, the thing with that is, is we can't wait for them to stay healthy. So that's why you just keep mixing and matching the pieces in order to try to get the right combination. Yeah. Yes, you need a great line to win championship. That's the goal, not just making the playoffs. Bingo. And that's why I'm over here like, no, nah, this is all wrong. And the reason why I'm <laughs> doing that is because we have to do it. You have to do it this way. Because if you don't do it this way, you're not going to end up with the result you want at the end. And I hate to keep using this as an example because it's a different sport, but the same way the Nuggets drafted their players, they built it via the draft. I would love to see the Dolphins do the same thing and take that same approach. And we have somewhat of that. Like we have half of our line has been drafted, but we didn't hit on. Some of the skill players we've got, like Tyreek, we've been traded for. Jalen's been traded for. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Like I would like oh. to like I would like to draft and develop our own talent and be like, no, we did this. And well, we that's the ultimate it. goal of all the time, is that's what you want, but sometimes it doesn't work out. But that's I agree with you one hundred percent. That's what you want. The best way to build a team and win for many years is through the draft. Absolutely. And that's the most sustainable winning. But, you know, we're at the point now we've played, traded for guys. We got the big money contract. So that window is it's shrinking, really in guys. It's yeah. getting really small. It's like starting to become like a keyhole. If you really right. want me to be honest with you, dude, like I'm going to say something now. And I, this is how I feel from my heart as a Dolphins fan. This yeah. is it. This is it. It's this year. Or it's not gonna ever happen. Oh wow, that's really that's really going all in. I, I no, think I'm we got a playing, couple. Dude. I think we got a couple years no. before the Piper comes due. Yeah, but... you guys can go out and hold on to your hope all you want. This is the year, bro. It's either now or it's never. Yeah, no, uh, I, I I agree, but yeah, I, I think it's a little longer than yeah. this, this this year. I think it's a couple years. How long you been sitting there, Hank, waiting for that? Be like, nah. Nah, they got him next year. Keep saying that, bro. You go to the grave. No, I, I haven't been saying it like I say it now. Now this team is better than any team has been in over 30 years. We said that last year. No, we said that last year w without having a complete offense. We still don't have a complete offense. You're never going to have saying, a complete offense. Look, look, for 20 years, bro, I've been saying for 20 years now, all right? Need an offensive line. And need to fix the linebackers.
years. Okay. Right. Uh, I agree. I think we've all been saying that changed. as a Dolphin fan. That has not changed to this day. No, they're both still trash. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I just have to accept the fact that Miami's going to get whoever they're going to get. It's true. But I have to look at it, and I choose to to say, okay, well, what what do we have in front of us? And right now, we have a uh, all all world track team on our offense we have an all-world track team no we do we got speed for sure speed we definitely are up there we have that and hold on on. don't get in your feelings before i'm done but yes the offensive line has to do this yes the the tight ends have to do that i got all that i got all that bro i'm just saying you look at what you do have. Forget about what you don't have for a minute. And you also have a top five defense when you added Vic Fangio. And Jalen Ramsey can only help. I don't think he's this great savior to the defense, but he can only help. So the way that they've built the secondary now, I think that they're, they're interchangeable now to some degree where when somebody needs a break, they can actually take a break without getting burnt. Uh, you know, those things are all happening for the Dolphins. And these are things they didn't have a top five defense forever, forever. And I think this is going to be the first year that they actually have a top five defense in 40 years. Well, okay? I, I hope I, I, okay. well, I don't know about 40 years. It's been that long since we've had a top. I didn't even look at my stats. I know we had some good one when the, Jason Taylor and Madison and Sertan. They were okay, and but they, they were never top. They didn't yeah. get us through the playoffs or nothing. No, I know they didn't. They didn't. That's, but that's no, all you're, I'm you're saying. One. I'm just saying, you know, in the the basic concept of yeah, yeah we had a couple of years here and there where somebody yes, but I, I just don't see. I just don't see. It, you know how you can't be excited about this team. I don't know. Oh, I'm a very excited about this. All right, Judge, we're gonna let you off the chain here and when the bulldog All off right, the chain. Like, Did, you tell us what you have. I'm invite my leg. I'm very yeah. excited about the football team. Don't get it twisted. I'm excited, but I'm also very realistic. And like I I see something that's a problem. I wanna fix it. That's right. that's what I wanna do. And like G Man basically just per- pulled the words right out of my mouth. Um, you're talking about all this speed we have and this great track team we got. It means diddly squat when you can't block up front. It means nothing. It means absolutely zero when you can't control the line at the point of attack, when you can't take the fight to them, when you can't dictate the game because you've got the, an offensive line that will let you eat. We're only going to go – the Miami Dolphins will only go as far as the offensive line is going to block for them. That's as far as this team will go. But how many years in a row do you want to sit there and crow about the offensive line? Until Anybody it's fixed. Do that. I can Until sit there and beat up the offensive line day and night. Until it's fixed. But I'm telling you, they're not going to fix it. Then you're going to get the same results you've been getting for the last 40 years. I don't think so. I, I, I think this team is just so you much know what? higher right, right now. I'll bet you $1,000 that you right. get the same results unless you fix this problem we're talking about. All right, and what do you you think that we're going to be nine and eight? No, I don't think we're going to be nine and eight. I think we're going to have a successful season. But do you want to have a successful season, Hank, or do you want to win a Super Bowl? Well, win a Super Bowl, obviously. Well, then everybody do what I'm wants to, to win do. a Super Bowl, but well, then you, you know, do it the right way. You gotta you gotta know not only have skill, you gotta have a little luck to win the Super Bowl. Oh, well, that we, we, have, we agree on that. We definitely so, need some luck. It needs to be so, on our side, but we need to. Let's we just to, say we need to, our, it's, let's let's just imagine in a perfect world that our players don't get decimated this year. Okay, let's just say that everybody stays healthy, including Tua. I think they could go to the Super Bowl. I got a question for you. Does all of a sudden the light pop on for Lee and Meikenberg and Austin Jackson? Because that's what's going to need to happen. Well, if you have Eichenberg at center, like they've been saying, and also Omar Crazy. said, he's doing a great job at center. Hey, I'm just reading what the guy's putting out. No, no I don't I agree with what he says, too. But it's mini camp, so I take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, they're not going camp. out there full speed. His, his hiking and all that is looks very good. So as far as filling in for right now, as far as Jackson goes, he beefed up and slimmed up 
he knows it's a contract year. So he's trying to change his health problems, obviously, by beefing up. Hopefully that works for him. I don't know if it will, but, <laughs> you know, we know he's got talent, but everybody beats him around the outside. What G-Man just said right there, Hank, read that question. Has he stay healthy? Because he releases no, the no, ball. No, no, it says Hank. Hank. Hank, how does Tua Hank. stay healthy with a medium yeah, I'm answering line? That. I'm answering that. <laughs> Oh, he stays. Okay. He stays healthy because they they brought in people to keep him upright. He's done things to get himself upright. Uh, the the fact that they'll be able to release the ball differently, they won't be able to crowd the box. There's lots of things, especially if they bring Dalvin Cook, that'll change. Like I said, that'll change the whole dynamics of how that defense comes up to the line. Dalvin Cook isn't no Barry Sanders, and we can't compare the two, all right? There's all right. Nothing, well, I got nothing. a special guest behind the scenes. Hank, you can keep on talking, but we're going to bring in Mr. Reggie Brown. Doc. What's up, Doc? What up, dude? What's Doc? up? Y'all good? Everybody <laughs> yeah, we're all good. We're all having all a little good, debate. Man. How you doing? <laughs> hey, man, I had to jump in when I heard the conversation. What you think? <laughs> well, I, I think it's... I think both things can be true at the same time. I think um, if, if we look at Tua's history, it hasn't been that he's got hurt because of the offensive line. It's been because he's been holding the ball too long. It's true. Yeah. So in, this, in the injuries that he's had, so that's something that he has to control. On the other side of it, we don't want the offensive line has given up some sacks that – could have easily got him hurt. So I think both things can be true at the same time. We have to improve the offensive line, and he has to do jujitsu to learn how to fall when he holds the ball too long. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, He's going to no, be flipping I... people. He's going to be flipping <laughs> So yeah. real quick, what's your takes on Dalvin Cook? Because that's what started our show is Dalvin. Are you for him coming, or you're not that – I mean, I, I am 100% for him coming. I, I think that he, you know, there's the, there's the, the in, in, in football, it's we're going to run into the running back on the way to the quarterback, right? Right. Because you don't fear the running game, so you tackle the running back on your way to the quarterback. Well, teams can't do that anymore. They have to uh, tackle the running back trying to get to the quarterback because Dalvin Cook is a weapon. Um, he's five yards or better. Um, he makes you play football honestly. And uh, when when you you know, have to defend the run and the pass, it just makes it easy. I think teams were just saying, we'll let you run and we'll give you that. They can't do that anymore if we get Dalvin. You have to defend the whole football field when he's your running back. Uh, plus, he's just a seasoned veteran. He's a blocker. He's a three-down back. You don't have to take him out. You know, he's not a tail, um, you know, of whether you're going to run or pass. He just checks all of the boxes. No, I, I agree. And then it becomes a – are you, like, getting him no matter what the cost? Or do you, like, have a – like? In your mind, is there a dollar number that you don't think the Dolphins should no. cross? I know it's not your money, but the Dolphins. No, I know. As a Dolphin fan, if you have to consider cost. And um, right. there is a number um, we have to take. Because we, I had this discussion a couple of days ago. The Dolphins, you look at Connor Williams. You look at Dalvin Cook. These are one-year guy and Connor. You look at Dalvin, a new guy. And the uh, – organization is going to say we're going to take care of these guys well what does that do to christian wilkins zach all of these guys who have been in the uh organization who have paid the dues have went through right. the growing pains they have to get paid too so you got to consider all of this so yeah, i know because I, it's, it's, a, it's a whole team factor i agree because you got to deal with the mental guys of the guys in the locker room but you got to deal with the football talent you want to improve. So there's so many things I got to take into consideration because Connor Williams is obviously not happy with his contract. Well, he didn't even show up to the mini camp the first day, you know, and whatever. So it's what kind of message are you to sending paid. to the rest of your team when you're going to give a guy who hasn't been here a contract and this big money when Zach hasn't gotten his money, Christian hasn't gotten his money. 
oh man, I don't like, I don't like the sound of this. And the reason why is because it's going to, what's going to happen is people are going to start coming to the table. Like right now, like Connor Williams and be like, Hey, go look at my tape. I'm ready for a contract right now. And I want my money now. And I'm not coming in here till I get it. Right now, like this cook thing's coming in. It's going to, it's kind of throwing a monk. What I see is I think you see it throwing a monkey wrench in our original plans. Everything doctor said about, um, Dalvin Cook is exactly how I feel about Dalvin Cook. Yes, I'm not taking anything away from the man. He's a great, great running back. He would set this offense completely off. But I think we need to take care of the people who have been here first. Right. Um, I think we get into this as Dolphins fans quite a bit. Um, we get caught up and we want to make our team better. Oh, we always I'm love all, the big I'm name. All, we always love the sexy it. name in South Florida. Yeah, we love the sexy sure. name. I'm all for it but we really need to think about taking care of what we have here first. That's kind of where I'm getting at with the pushback on it. And the reason yeah. why is because I know we have things we need to take care of here first. Um, Dalvin Cook, in my mind, especially after we drafted the Texas A&M kid out of, you know, the Al chain, he's a luxury. It's a luxury thing. Um, we still have problems on, you know, obviously the line is what they got, but we have the defensive linemen that we need to add to this team. We, we can't go in with the bodies we have on that side. We need a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the Let me ask you this to. then, Jay. Let me ask you this. And then I have a if, question for Reggie after. Don't if, let me if forget. You're, if you're stuck with the current line you have, which it seems like we are, if you're stuck with it, would you not want to add Dalvin Cook to, to the team to help block? Does that mean that um, – See, this is the thing with it, okay? Dalvin yeah, Cook wanna, helps yes, the I line. Add Cook. Yes, I want to add Cook. Do I want to piss off Zach Sealer? Do I want to piss off Connor Williams? Do I want to make give them Christian big Wilkins bonuses? Mad? Mr. Ross has deep pockets. You give him big bonuses. Yeah, but there is a cap. <laughs> no. I think there by, is a cap, is, though. This, this, no, they give him a bonus. It doesn't hold on, off the cap hold on, anymore. Hold on, I'll tell you exactly what I think. Keep I think if you add Cook, I think if you add Cook, you're going to lose one of those three players. You're going to lose either Connor Williams Christian Wilkins or Zach Sealer. So you go ahead and add Cook all you want, but those three players are at risk if you do that after this well, year. I, I, would, I would say that I did I I disagree with that statement because if we add Dalvin Cook, I suggest that we lose uh, Jerome Baker or we you lose Ogba rather than those guys because those are the contracts that's holding us back. So yeah. that requires Chris Greer to really go out and 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 work you know that's it no one just, wants jerome baker's contract bro well but i'm saying that there, there's there's ways that you go about it right so maybe they don't get the full jerome baker contract maybe we give them i think his contract what is it 11 is it 12 yeah so, so maybe we eat, so maybe we eat four million of it and we send 11 million that creates some more cash. Cedric Wilson. Cedric Wilson's another sure. name you could trade. Right. So yeah. So there. That's when. That's why Chris Greer is going to get paid to be GM and him and his team to create this so that we can become their pieces. Do we really need Ogba as a team? Is and maybe we do. Big Fangio can probably answer that better than us. That's another. That's another contract that nobody wants. Right. <laughs> but again, I think they want it. Just not at that price. So, right. how do we? What do we do to make that palatable for teams to take it on? The only way you're getting rid of Jerome Baker and Emmanuel Ogba is if you come to a team and like, hey, I'll pay half of his salary. Just take it off my books. That's it. Right, and that may be what you do, but that's that's the equivalent of saving seven million dollars here, yep. saving yep. nine million dollars here, and so I can that's see that. When, that's when Chris Greer. Heck, because I I don't think that I've heard people say this. I don't think that Dalvin Cook is a luxury. I think he is a need. I think okay. he really wow. us. Wow. Hey, he makes if we're saying our offensive line is an issue, right? Does he not make our offensive yeah, line? Yeah, that's true. That's a that's a good way to look at it. You could flip it around and say that. Now I have a quick question for you. That's the only guy that's actually been in NFL locker room, Reggie. I know you were a little before the free agency period. And, but how much among the guys do you believe, like, because fans always say, oh, he's going to give us a hometown discount. Do you think that's really such a thing or among some people? Or is it really like, I got to get the money because this is not a long career? It's, it's, I would say with Davin Cook, it's both. It's a, 
the hometown discount that you make up because your hometown is Miami, right? right. And it's in Florida, and you get to do the tax thing and look at look at it from the tax break thing. And um, I imagine Miami will be selling him on you're the hometown kid, and you're gonna get this amount of a Senate and commercial advertising in Miami because you are coming home. Right. So there's a lot there that Miami can sell to him that on the books may look like a hometown discount, but really right. because he's going to make that money up. Reggie, why do you think he's a need? Because I think he, I think he makes the offensive line better. Why? Because again, teams don't get to pin their ears back anymore. They don't get. They have. But doesn't to, the offensive line still need to go out there and block and open up holes for him? Yes, but I, I I think that if they were able to open up holes at a clip for Rashawn, uh, 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 for Moser at a four point eight clip, and they were able to have Jeff Wilson at a uh, average of four point whatever he averaged while he was the Dolphins, then what does that do for Dalvin Cook? So right. you're saying that Dalvin Cook would make the Dolphins' offensive line that much more better? Yes, and again, you have a veteran who, uh, again, he's a three-down guy. He's going to be there every down. You don't have to worry about his health. I mean, we had these guys out all year long. Wilson was there, and then he missed two games. And uh, Moshe was there, and then he missed two games. This is the guy that's going to bring continuity to it. Um, is it isn't that the reason we drafted the kid out of Texas A&M, though? Well, I thought that – I think that we we drafted the kid first and foremost. Are we going to really say we're going to depend on a rookie? Why not? Well, in this offense, by all accounts, you listen to what Tyreek just said. He's, he's He was running around – not even knowing what to do. I mean, that's Tyreek Hill. He said he just made plays off athleticism. This is a very difficult offensive to run. So I think that with this rookie, we're, we're going to give him specific things to do. Right, He's that makes sense. Spring guy. He's going to have certain runs that he do does. You know, with the complexity of defenses now, you don't ask a rookie to come and pick up these exotic bliss because – Two are going to end up on his ass. You put a rookie in there, and he miss a block because he doesn't recognize that the that they're running a dog and somebody dropping right. and all that kind of stuff. So I think that our chain, you may be able to depend on him in November. You can't depend on him in September when you know. So I, I think that with you bring in Dalvin Cook, you keep Mostert, you keep our chain, you maybe keep. Uh, I would keep uh, uh, Ahmed. Those would be the four running backs that I kept. I would let Wilson try to get some for him if you could. Try to get some for Gaskin if you could, and uh, let them go, and then work with that. Really? Running. So you you wow. would let Wilson walk and keep Ahmed? Is that what you're saying? Yes. I think that wow. Ahmed proven himself that he can be a valuable piece. Um, you know, he doesn't cost you anything. Again, when you're talking about offsetting cost, Ahmed offsets some cost. Right. And yeah, I would just do it the other way around. I would keep uh, Mostert. I would keep Wilson. If we add Cook, obviously you get him. Then I would add Achain as my fourth back, and I would try to get something for Ahmed and Gaskin if I could. Obviously it won't be much, but you might just have to just let them go so they can find greener pastures. But that's what I would do. But I like what you said, too. Hell, I mean, I don't see much difference. But, uh, I mean, Ahmed, I think he's deserving of a chance. If that's the route they were going to go, I would stand behind that. Um, I I don't know, man. Like, I guess I can agree with what you're saying. Like, I, I could see it and how he could make the line better. But I guess what I'm getting at and what um, most fans probably would say is, why should he have to make the line better when the line could just be that much more better? And then Dalvin cook becomes that much more dynamic. Um, I guess what I'm getting at is like, I think we're robbing Peter to pay Paul here. Like I, I, if that's what we have to do in order to get to the promised land, fine, I'm all for it. But I, I if you're going to do this route and go that route, I've seen this a thousand times with the dolphins. I'm going to say this, you better be right. Well, the bottom I'll line is Dalvin cook, 
we can all agree makes the Dolphins a better team. Yes. yes. And I'm this. You, to your point, you're saying that Robin Peter to pay Paul, and I'm saying that the Dolphins are convinced and convicted with their offensive line. So if they're not going to make the offensive line by better by going out and get better pieces, then how about go and get a running back that makes them better? Because we none of us agree that the offensive line is good. The Dolphins do clearly, but if they're not going to go get us, uh, what's the kid, Reisner, if they're right. not going to do anything with that, then go get Dalvin Cook and help them better by addition of a running back. So you're basically saying based kind of like addition by subtraction from not having a great line, you're just adding a great running back to try to up the boost of it a little bit. Yeah, I, I just thought that they would do more with the offensive line. So did I. And they are so con- Hank, you've been quiet for a few minutes. Hank, you can chime in with anything you want. I'm, I'm listening to Doc because Doc's got some knowledge, and I like to, you know, I'm a listener when somebody comes on like that. No, no, no. This is a conversation, Hank. This is a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I've been listening, and you know, he's he's going the same direction I've been trying to go. Uh, he's making the point better about Dalvin Cook than I did, but that's what I'm saying. If you, if the, we know they're not going to change this line, we pretty much are stuck with what we got. You add a Dalvin Cook, and it's going to stop that defense from doing what they want at will. That that's that's all I think. But you know, I'm about to die over here, so battery wise. <laughs> Nah, you're not that old, Dare Hank. No, the battery, the battery. Oh, the battery. I thought you were saying you were about to die. Okay, I was going to say, I, come on, Hank. <laughs> I totally understand where you're coming from as well as like, hey, you're not going to put a rookie in there to block a double dog blitz because two is going to end up going on his butt. I wouldn't even ask the rookie to do something like that. You wouldn't even be in a position like that. Just like Doc said, I would. I would small spoon feed you and then I would put more on your plate. And then as we got going through the season, I'd put more on there and more on there until I seen that you could handle it. Um, I'm for adding Dalvin Cook. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm very, um, what do I say? I'm, I'm, I'm like, it's a little bit risque for me. And the reason why is because it's like, this has to be something that's going to take us over the top, bro. If not, it's not worth doing. Um, if that's what Doc thinks and he thinks it's going to take us over the top, he's the one basically to get to kind of like uh, nudge me off the edge. Let's go then. Let's so get let, cooked. Let me ask you this. Do you believe that Dalvin puts us over the top? No, no, I do not. No, I don't. I really I don't. Do. The reason why I don't is because it's, Dalvin doesn't play defensive line. We need some depth on the back end of that defensive line still. Um, I'm, I, I just think we're like putting a spot here and when we're not and we're, we're, we're forgetting about the defensive line that's going to need our attention. That's so what you say problem. is he makes us a better team, but not a Super Bowl winner is what you're yes, saying. Absolutely. Okay. But I don't think that's the last piece to be like, oh, this is it, bro. Now, if you were to be like, hey, they just added Akeem Hicks and Levinville Joseph, you'll see me throwing an emergency show up. You're like, woo, yeah, now we're rocking. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be honest with you. That would be more exciting for me than adding Dalvin Cook. So, That's just so let me ask you this. You don't think that our starting defensive line is one of the best in the league? No, I didn't say that. I'm talking about the depth that's behind them. You want Jalen Bronson coming in to fill in for Christian Wilkins? Do you want um, Jalen Twyman coming in for Christian Wilkins? Do you Did want... we let John Jenkins go? Huh? We let John yeah, Jenkins... Jenkins is gone. He signed with the Colts. Who is our backup? I'm, I'm you, don't have, you don't have one. We don't have uh. one. That's what I've been trying to say, and everyone wants to add Dalvin Cook. Woo! Add Dalvin Cook. Well, I, I, I don't – but, but I think that I, – what I hear you saying is we need a depth piece. How much are we going to pay for a backup D lineman, though? I mean, we, are four we talking million, about two million? Four million? Four million. Yeah, two, four million. I know you could get Akeem Hicks or Linville Joseph for both those numbers. What's the holdup? I don't see the – I don't see – the fact that we need backups as the defensive linemen, a money factor when you consider Dalvin Cook. Like, I don't see that, like, those two things are not 
if we get Dalvin Cook, we cannot fix the backup defensive lineman role. So you're saying I, we could get both? I I, I would. If, I mean, if I would think so. I mean, we got money. There's again. There's some. I believe that the the Dolphins are working on the Cedric Wilson deal behind trying to see what they can do. I believe that they're working on possibly Ogba behind the deal. I believe they're working to see what can happen with Baker. Now, does any of those things happen? I don't know. But I, if we think that you know, it, it, Chris Greer is in dereliction of duty, if he's not doing those things, I'll see, say that. See, this is the thing. You bring up Baker and you bring up Ogba. Okay, I get it. The money, the contracts don't match the production of play. Uh, you, everybody knows I'm not, as big, I'm not the big Jerome Baker guy. I've never have been. I'm out of here, Rob. He, he did. All right, bye. Play Thank play you, Hank. He did. Out, everybody. Sorry to interrupt you, J Dog. Oh, you're I'm good. Dead on, on you're good, brother. Right you're good, brother. All right. Thank you, Hank, for joining us. Yeah, thanks hey, for thanks on, for man. having me, guys. I really anytime, appreciate brother. you. Anytime, brother. Anytime, man. All you guys are welcome anytime. Hey, Doc, thanks for the insight. I appreciate you. Hey, you my guy, dude. We'll chop it Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Right so, on. Right on. What I was saying is, like, the, I've never been a big Jerome Baker guy. Everybody knows this. But what I'm let me make my point real fast. By saying, hey, let's go ahead and have another team pick up their contracts, take half, whatever, right? Now we're opening up another hole. So now we need another guy to come in there to take Baker's spot, which it could be Aubrey Miller. We don't know that. Maybe that's their plan. But then the Ogba, like who's taken now? You got now you need three defensive linemen uh, depth pieces, not just two. Right. See, and that's the thing. It's like that's why I want to plug those holes now. Then we can add talk about the Dalvin Cooks and all this other stuff. Like I just want to plug the holes. I got it. Steve. You're almost at the end of the show, so we let you chime in. So, what's your thoughts on Dalvin Cook? Is the main topic of the day. What's your thoughts on Dalvin Cook to the Dolphins? All right. Well, first off, morning, everybody. Morning, Justin. Good morning. morning, Doc. What up, Steve? Um, and Doc, I'm here in Houston myself. So, all right, we got a hook up for that Texans uh, Houston uh, Dolphins training camp game. Yeah. Hey, hell yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I'll get with you on that. I'll DM you. For sure. All right, brother. Um, well, look, um, <laughs> I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in here. Uh, let, as far as Delvin Cook goes, uh, Delvin Cook, I don't want him to come into Miami. And, and, wow. the, primar and the primary reason is, is I don't, now, now don't, I don't remember where I got these statistics, but I'm sure we can look them up somewhere. 62% of his carries, he was tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Right. So, well, Delvin Cook is not a a a Derrick Henry. He's not gonna he's not gonna be able to get you four or five yards every pop. He's gonna get you one yard, two yard, yep. yep, two yard loss, three yard loss. Yep. Maybe after the seventh or eighth carry, he'll get you that fifteen or twenty yard run. He's not gonna well, have to, he's what's not his gonna yards per carry over the last I mean he had over a thousand yards last year. I mean it didn't doesn't he? matter. But well Man, he really he lost it. Uh, he really got. Oh, there, there he goes. goes. Back. Keep going, he, Steve. A Keep lot going. of them were. A lot of them were just big runs. He's not going to help Tua out one bit. Tua is a rhythm quarterback. You're going to throw him out of his rhythm. It's right. He's true. And, and here's I agree. another. Here's another point. Um, he had 265 carries last year. Our running backs. Uh, Mostert and and <laughs> yeah. um and um and uh, Wilson, they had a combined two hundred and sixty something carries. Damn. Who's gonna who's gonna get all those carries? Yeah, who's getting? We those got a, we got a running back by a committee. We got a chain. We got Mostert. Mm -hmm. yep. We got Wilson. We got Gaskins. We've got Ahmed. Who's gonna get the ball? I don't know. <laughs> you know that that's the problem. And and here's here's another thing. Um, that that's my point on Delvin Cook. I know you were talking about the defense, Justin, and I got to go here pretty soon. We got power outage here last night. Uh, we oh, had no. a ter terrible storm, so oh, yeah. I don't even have internet at home. I'm using my phone now, but right, <laughs> I am. I got to go uh, get some food here at McDonald's. Unfortunately, right? get, get some grub. <laughs> but but anyway, here, here's the point. 
um, when you were talking about the defense, I don't know if you heard the Vic Fangio uh, interview. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we talked about it a little earlier on the show yeah, about so, how he said so there are he weak threw, points on the defense. and Yes, he threw some nuggets in there, and Justin is correct. We've got some talent on the defense, definitely got some talent. But can they? he didn't say can they play good. He said they're going to have to play very good. Yeah. And then he also said we've got some we've got some player inexperienced players and and other players that you know we we've got some spots basically on the defense that we got to fill. That's 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 uh that's coach talk. When, yeah, coach coach talk. <laughs> when, when a coach comes out and says something like that after training camp, that tells me that he thinks that defense is damn good. Hell yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Coach Brown. Well. down the expectations and says things like, well, you know, we hose the field and we got to do this. That tells me he thinks they're going to be damn good. I'm telling you. I agree. Trust me on well, that. And, and I agree. I agree with you on that point. You know, I can't argue with you there. I'm not saying it's not going to be better or very yeah. good. I'm just saying there's some spots on that of defense course. he's not right. happy with. Yeah, right. I agree. <laughs> So yeah. Dalvin, back to the Dalvin point. Dalvin average, I just looked it up, four point two yards a carry. And yeah. again, pretty I, good. The Dolphins are going to, and Mike McDaniel has said as much, and we all agree. And certainly, uh, Jay has said this. They needed, we needed to run the ball much, much more than we did last year. Agree so on that. If we believe that the Dolphins need to run more. Don't we want those carries to be going to a guy like Gavin Cook who busted the dog wide open when we were stuck with yeah. Tyler, but we were still in the game, and all of a sudden he takes it 40 yards and shuts the door on us. We had held him in check, but ultimately he's a guy who you hold him to a minus one, four, minus three, four, now 60. The game yeah. is wide open. It's Steve. I had to mute you for a minute, Steve. I'm getting feedback from your. I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to shut off here. I just want to make this point, and then I've got to shut off, and then I'll get back with you, um, Doc. Uh, I'll DM you uh, sometime uh, this week. Right. Uh, but anyway, uh, my point is, you're gonna have to hand him the ball a lot of times, right? We already got Mostert. We've got Jeff Wilson. We've got A Chain. So. Those two combined, Wilson and Mostert, combined for about 260 something yard, uh, 265 carries last year. Where Delvin Cook, that's how many carries he had with Minnesota last year. Yes, he had a 4.2 average. I got you, but he had a lot of big chunk yards. If you go back and look at the film, he did make those big runs. Yes, but we can't afford rhythm. Uh, we can't afford two to get out of rhythm. And he can't be put in a position of third and nine or third and well, 12. I, well, I you know think what I'm that, saying? We're going to be I putting the that, ball a lot. <laughs> well, That's I not what think we that, want. I think that we want to increase the rushes this year from 267 to about 300 carries, right? Well, yes. Um, so somebody's going like to be carrying it. So somebody's going to be carrying it. I mean, and why not Dalvin Cook? If you're going to give somebody the ball, and again, Dalvin Cook is a guy you don't have to take out the game. He's a first down, second down, third down back. He's great out the backfield. He can yes. catch the ball. He can do everything you need on the football field. He can block, too. Yes. I agree. agree. Well, all I can say is, like my, like my buddy – Rob says, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That's we'll always see. what I say. I see. I say that all the time. We'll see. It's, it's true. Their world. Yeah, we just hey, guys. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Out, thank all right. you for having me, guys. I appreciate it. All right, Steve. No yeah, problem. See you next time. All right. So uh, I guess it really just boils down to what are the Dolphins going to do. It doesn't – this has, has nothing to do with uh, me or Reggie or Rob uh, so no. the Dolphins matter now, and like if you can, you if you want to throw down the chips on the Cook, you know what? Talking to Doc and um, 
Steve and to you, Rob and Hank, it actually Hank. makes me feel a little bit better about it. Like, um, if they're going to add cook, I'm all for it, man. And it's not my money. So I really don't care how much it's the cost. <laughs> and no, that's not the money as far because it's not our money, but like you said, it's just for the cap and like, can you do other moves? So that's like, why I think like, fans care about the money. I, I think had a great point right there though, about the 265 carries and then those other carries like we're trying to get to the 310 mark. Who else would you rather have taken those carries, though, rather than a Dalvin Cook? I mean, he makes a great point, a veteran being in there, a three-down back. You don't have to pull him off the field. He can catch. He can pass protect out of the backfield. And, if, and I and would take – I mean, you know, Barry up. Sanders, he got tackled for a loss many times, but he, oh, then he would time. break another big – so I don't care about, oh, he's been tackled for a loss because that's what great running backs get sometimes. So he used to go crazy back there, get tackled for a loss, but then the next thing he's running 50 yards down the field. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and if you get that every game, you know, hell, you're ahead of the game. I think what you said, JP, is important, though, is that Chris Greer is doing his job and creating some money, some places that doesn't cost us because – it is a fact that people got to get paid and all of this works together and it's a puzzle. And right. that's why he get paid five, six million dollars a year to make all of this work. So okay. I, I totally agree with that point. Yep. So yeah, like, you know, we're in a, in a perfect world, we'd love to have as much money as to go around. Oh, yeah, if it was like no possible. salary cap in football, yeah. you know, Ross would be among the biggest spenders of all the owners. Absolutely, so if, we would. But it, we, it's in a world where we don't live like that. So we kind of need to worry about it. Yeah, but it's not my money, save. so I'm not that concerned about it. But at the same point in time, I don't want to see us get put into a position like we have been before to where like, like the Nadama Kinsu deal where we put all our eggs into one yeah, basket, I one. I didn't like that purpose. move from day one. I very yeah. seldom speak up. I was like, that was not a position. It's not an impact position. Unless you're an Aaron Donald or, you know, someone of that. And Aaron Rodgers, uh, Pat Mahomes, that's that kind yeah. of money. Yeah, no, no. But Aaron, I'm talking, I'm trying to play the position. Just not maybe that defensive <laughs> tackle is not a position you pay that kind of money. No, to. That's just, no. that was crazy. We just were not a very good football team either. I mean, you dropped all that money there when we, you know, we didn't have yeah, we all. We weren't ready there for that next step. We weren't I ready know. for that, yeah. It's yeah. true, I agree. So let oh, me ask you a quick question. Can I ask a quick, Jason? Yeah, yeah. So if, yeah. if we gave Dalvin a two-year, let's say, $24 million, right, Ooh. and then we gave him $6 million signing bonus, that reduces the cap hit, right? It should, yeah. So so then it makes his – and so we know uh, Ross doesn't have a problem with giving the signing bonuses to reduce the cap hit, which allows everybody else to get paid. Am I saying that the right way? No, yeah, you, you are. are like, yeah, But like Justin correct. said, you eventually puts those payments down the road to where, you know, it's just – it all comes due. But, yeah, it's, he is. Ross is willing to sign that blank check that most owners are not. Well, like like Rob just said right there, it's the kicking the proverbial can down the road, and then eventually you have to pay for it. But let me say this: it's not really a bad strategy to kick the can down the road. But let 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 let, let this be said: if you kick the can down the road, you want a Lombardi Trophy to come back with that can being kicked down the road. Do you right? No, exactly. That's what the Rams did a bit, and then they got the one Super Bowl win, and now you know they're struggling a little bit. Because they did, that, I think as a Dolphin us. fan base, we would kill for that. Yeah, you know, like, I was going to say, none of us would complain about the can being kicked down the road as long as you bring back a Lombardi trophy, right? Like, I mean, that's well, the ultimate goal here. <laughs> so that does make me a little bit nervous because we have a team with the players that we have that we have a sustainable core of guys that this doesn't have to be a one-and-done championship, you know, where we got these young guys, core guys that we should, you know, like when people say we're on a two year window, I hate to hear that. I, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, Some people I don't disagree with that, but it's if I, you look at the numbers, they come the we owe a lot of money in a couple of years. That's the I, but I think you can always rework you, it again. I think the reason why you hear the two year window, doc, and people talk about these windows is because as Dolphins fans, they've never seen us kind of like win a Super Bowl and get over the hump. So they don't know what a second window is going to look like. So I hear where you're coming from, and I want to see a sustain to win and win for a long time. But I think they just need to get over the hump and get one, and then they can figure out how to sustain and get more. Because I definitely hear where you're coming from. We're built 
we are built and drafting to win more than just one of these. We're drafting right. to get to be better, to be contenders into the future. And that's the whole goal here. And that's why you want to draft better. I think it, it, it comes down to like identifying talent, seeing that talent and drafting that talent right away because you know it's going to help your football team three, you know, two, three years down the line. And you know this. That's the that's why we, we draft these guys. Yeah. Anyway, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Ben's yes. up to all of you. I mean, the Buffalo fan that came in here, Dud Dolphins, he came in here. He's always in. He's cool, man. Tell a yeah. friend, tell another friend. Don't forget to hit, smash that like and subscribe button, my man. Yeah. Reggie, as always, thank you. You're welcome Reggie. anytime. That's my dog right there, man. Yeah. Oh, he just fade out a little bit. But anyway, Justin, as always, of course, thank you. And G-Man yeah. and Ender and Hank. <laughs> and the Finns podcast, the Back It Up Finns podcast. All you guys came in here today. Thank you so much, Andrew. All the guys, I can't go back through all. Too many to go through. But all you guys, thank you so much. Reggie, anytime you want, here, come join the show. Yep. Reggie, you got any, you got any closing thoughts? Oh, is he? Oh, he, oh, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Okay. Fins up. <laughs> Fins up, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. There, Great Hank show, came back. Man. All right, Great Hank. Thank you, there. Hank. So, well, we had a few Hank. We had the other Hank in there. We had Hammer Time. Hammer we time. had Back It Up Fins podcast. Jimmy oh, James. I'm going R R L. Man, we had R-L. a lot of people R-L. today, so that's good, man. Thank you, guys. Great show today, man. Yeah, it was fun, man. And Justin, enjoy your weekend. You got a game tomorrow? Yes, I do. Where's this your is game a big, tomorrow? A big game for us tomorrow. Um, I know a lot of the teams and the people in the league don't take this team that we're getting ready to play serious because they haven't won a game. But you should never take your opponent lightly. Don't take, don't play down to your opponent's level. My right. Longhorns, they should come out on fire. We, there's no reason why we shouldn't hang a 40 burger on this team. Oh, I hope so, but I know you're coming off a tough loss. You said tough so. loss, bro. So we're ready to go get them. I, I think we're going to come out there and play one of our better games of the year. Yeah, let's go. See you guys later. Let's go heat, beat the chicken nuggets. So. Let's go nuggets. <laughs> Nugget tonight, baby. Tonight it's on. Take this game, then we come home and we close them out, baby. Let's go. Two games it's this away, year or baby. not at all. No, I don't think it's this year. I mean, you can never say it's this year or not at all, but I just well, you better be thing. good this year, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it's this year. Oh, yeah, you did all. say that, man. <laughs> just, man, that's not like you. I think you got carried away. No, nah, man, that's how I kind of feel in my heart, bro. I've been All right, hey, for this hey if it's so this year, long. I don't care. If you're right and it turns out to be this year, what do I care if it's only one year and we have and to wait another? And anyone who's like, oh, no, that can't be true, bro. That's yeah. just you hold. You just haven't been a Dolphins fan that long then, man. This team breaks your heart, and that's just how I feel, bro. Like, yes. I, I, I want to win bad, though. Trust me. Hey, believe me, I think we all – that's the one thing. We may all disagree on how we want to win or how the way – the best way we think can win, but we all want to win at the end of the yes. day, as Steve <laughs> likes to say. So that's the one thing we can always agree on. So with no further ado, Justin, unless you have something, I'm going to end our show here. Right on, man. Love you guys. Hey, okay, guys, like, by. subscribe. Yep. You guys like, are subscribe. the best. And um, that's it, yep. man. I'm Later, guys. Deuces.